Uh, real quick, I'm just going to show you my uh, foundation routine. And if you're wondering why I have makeup on, it's because I had a meeting earlier today and I, then I came home and I, I washed off the foundation so that I could show you guys real quick how I did that. So that's why I already have eye makeup on. I don't typically do my eye makeup before my foundation. Actually, I never do that. I always do my foundation first. So uh, I hope you guys like this. Bye. Okay, so the first thing before putting your foundation on and the most important thing is to really exfoliate your skin and get all the dead cells off and so that you know, your skin can look its best on its own before you put foundation on. So what I like to do is I take my Olay brush. Um, this one has two speeds with this button right here and it goes in a circular motion and it feels really luxur lux luxurious on my skin. And, uh, you know, it really helps to brighten it up and um, take that dead layer of skin off. So that is the most important thing is to make your skin look its best first before you add foundation to it. So that's step one. Okay, the next step after that, after you really exfoliate your skin, um, for oily skin, it's a must that you mattify. You have to mattify that stuff. You just have to, okay? So I use the Murad, uh, why, it's focus, so I don't know why I'm sho shoving it in your face. I use the Murad oil mattifier and it has SPF 15 in it. And uh, if you have oily skin, this one's a good one and I really like the Mary Kay one. Both of those are really good. So it's really important that you uh, mattify that and get that under control because you don't want to be frying eggs on your face. After that, I take um, milk of magnesium. And if you're like, what? Well, guess this whole milk of magnesium. Well, uh, it's that really big bottle that you get at the drugstore in the pharmacy aisle that you drink if your stomach hurts. Not hurts. Anyway. <laughs> It helps to absorb oil in your stomach and stuff like that. So uh, I put it in a spray bottle. It's like $6 for a really big bottle. And this this one, I didn't even fill up. I put it right here. And it's probably lasting like four months already. So it's $6. And I my skin won't make it through the day. Even with the Murat, it won't make it through the day without the milk of magnesium. So I just spray it on my face. And rub it in. If you have oily skin, you should just try it. I mean, it's only $6, and uh, you'll be thanking me later. Sorry, guys. My camera cut out at one point, but I just wanted to really quickly tell you that after I applied the um, Murad oil mattifier and the milk of magnesium, I then apply the NYX primer before the foundation. I'm sorry, my camera cut out. People keep blowing up my phone today and I turned it off and forgot to turn that back on for that part. But don't forget to prime your face. Okay? Bye. Okay, so after I um, apply those two things, I take my foundation and I, I use the NYX HD and everybody always asks me what color I am and I'm 06 natural beige. You're not going to be able to see that. I don't know why I filmed on this. And I take about a pump one full pump on my hand and I take my Sigma dual fiber F50 brush well, again why am I showing you the dual fiber brush and um, I kind of just lightly apply it One thing that I really, really love about this foundation um, is that it has this amazing, nice, dewy finish to it. And if I didn't have oily skin, I, I wouldn't, I would wear it just like that. I'd just put a nice little translucent powder on it instead of a mattifying powder. And I would wear it dewy because it seriously makes, it looks like you just have the most healthy skin. I can't get enough of this foundation. Make sure you bring it down to your neck because that would look really awkward if you just had 
a nice line on your face. So um, blend that in real well. I like this brush with my foundation because it, it looks really airbrushed. It looks really nice. Sorry, I'm blocking your view. I just got to make sure I'm not looking like a hot mess. Okay. So, as you can see, it gave me a lot of really good coverage and really evened out my skin tone. Okay, after I apply my foundation, I, am, I put concealer on. Sometimes I use this um, hard candy palette concealer palette it has all the colors well wrong side it has all the colors the green the yellow and the pink and then it has different um, shades but uh, heart talked about this in one of her videos so I figured uh, since I'm in the market for a really good heavy-duty concealer I would pick it up and try it and it was only six dollars and there's a ton of product in it and I told heart um, this concealer is no joke. Like you seriously can put this on a dead body and it would camouflage it. Nobody would ever find the dead body. <laughs> so I just take the smallest amount. I'm so serious, guys. This is hardcore concealer. Just take the smallest amount. And I like that it's like in a squeeze thing. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. The smallest little amount on your ring finger. And I dab it with my other ring finger. So that it looks like that and then I apply that under my eye in a, like a padding motion because I have super dark heavy duty black circles under my eye I don't get enough sleep because I'm a mom and a night owl at the same time and I usually film my videos at night so that's why I don't get a lot of sleep at night And so after I do that, um, I also put some on my blemishes. I have a nice guy going on right here. See him? Yeah, I named him Fred. He's going to hang out with me for a couple more days. And then I have one, like, right here. And so after I do that, I take my... I love this powder. It's the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. Oh, why do I always say that? It's the Dream Matte Powders. <laughs> and um, I take my Sigma F30 brush. And it's the really big one. It does come with this thing. And I like this sometimes for under my eyes. But uh, not right now. So I just take it. And apply it all over my face and it um, cuts down on the dewiness okay so that's it for my foundation routine um, now I'm gonna show you my face routine the first thing that I like to do is I like to take the Bare Minerals Warmth and I seriously can't tell you, I have put this on every skin tone because um, I do makeup for other people and it looks good on everybody and I just kind of apply it to, you know, where the sun would naturally hit. And it gives you like a nice color to your face. And the next thing I do is I love this um, from e.l.f. It's one of my favorite products from e.l.f. It's their Healthy Glow Bronzer Powder. And I take my contouring brush. This is Sigma F40. I don't know why I'm showing it to you. You can't see it. And I take the, uh, the top part of the brush and I contour my face with it. And I, I really like to contour my face because I have a pretty round face going on. So 
so it looks like that. And I also like to uh, contour underneath because I have like 18 chins going on. Uh, with the same with the same brush that I did my um, Bare Minerals, it's the Flawless. I use the Flawless face from Bare Minerals. I take my NARS Albatross. I, again, I don't know why I'm showing you. It's not going to focus. And it looks like this. And it has that gold. Hello. It has that. Oh, goodness. It has that gold sheen to it that I showed you guys before in another video. And I just take it on my brush and I highlight my cheekbones and it's it's really translucent but it has that really nice bronzing gold sheen to it and I also take a little bit with my finger my middle finger and I go right down the middle of my nose with it and it, what that does is it slenderizes your nose and elongates it and it creates like a straight line for your eye to see so when people look at you and then sometimes I'll contour the sides of my nose. Not that my nose is like huge or anything, but just to help it. And um, for blush, I like this palette a lot. A lot, a lot. This is my everyday, no. This is my everyday color that I use. Um, it's pretty, it looks pretty natural on me. But I'm going to use this one a lot in the summer. And I really like this middle color right here too, this top middle color. That's really pretty too. Um, maybe for spring, I might start using this color. Uh, it's really, really pink though. And these are super pigmented and it's the Amuse palette. Uh, I got it at Cherry Culture and I think it was only like $5 for six colors. I take my Sigma F30 brush, the big fluffy one, and I just dab it in there a little bit. And um, I don't know. I don't apply it to the apple of my cheek first. I apply it to the side and then to the apple so that all that color isn't concentrated right on the apple. And then I bring it up. I, I, I'm like dabbing it. I'm not like brushing it on. And so there's my um, cheek. You can see the sheen right here and then where I contoured. And then there's color in the middle. And this is the finished look. Now, after I finish everything, I like to take this stuff. I'm not going to try to say the name. Skin. Okay, I will try. <laughs> Skin de <Navia. laughs> That was probably butchered. But this is the um, No More Shine Makeup Finish. So this really makes it last all day, all day, all day. This is for oily skin. You know that because it says so on the bottle. It says right here, for oily skin, matte hold oily skin. So I just um, spray like three um, on my face and it really helps to mattify it and keep the oil under control. And there you go. I hope you liked it. I'm going to show you my outfit real quick because I always get questions. Where did you get that? Where did you get that? Where did you get that? Even though I do hauls and tell you where I get everything. So uh, this is not a shirt. It is the dress that I got from Target. So this is the dress that I got from Target. And I'm wearing it with the boots I got from Rue 21. And my um, heart necklace from Forever 21. This is, I'm obsessed with this necklace and all day I just sit here and I like open it and close it and it's so annoying, but I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Bye. Okay. After that, the next step is really.